Hi folks, welcome to another episode of Tableau in two minutes. Today we're going to be demonstrating how to union and how to join data sources uh, within the data source window. So we're going to create one data source out of multiple tables. Uh, to do that, I've created a furniture data set, pretend furniture sales. You can see that we have sales for three months, September, October, and November. Uh, we have a list of regional leaders, we have a list of product leaders, uh, and we have the cost per unit. Uh, and to uh, create those and to, keep, to combine these into one big uh, data source, we're going to go ahead and jump into Tableau here. Uh, you can see I've already created a connection to the Furniture Sales Excel sheet. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to drag out September onto our sales, or sorry, onto our, our big Furniture Sales uh, table here. You can see that that gives us the sales for September. Now, we want to also combine this with the sales for October and November. It will be a pain to have those as different data sources. So we're going to go ahead and drag them out. And you can see that if you drag them just underneath each other, then you can drag them and drop them where it says uh, drag to union. And what that's going to do is it's going to stack the two tables one on top of the other. So you can see that now we have September sales down here and October sales up at the top here. We'll do the same with November. Just drop that on the bottom. And again, you can see that we have now... No uh, September, October, and November in our data source, uh, the first big table. You'll notice it's done two things, and it's added two fields uh, to our column. The first one is the sheet name, and the second one is the table name. Both of these happen to be the month in this case. Um, so if we didn't have this month label in our data source, we would actually be creating a uh, another label for each sheet so that we could identify which one uh, which one was which. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to join our regional leaders to our uh, sales table here. So we're going to take regionals out, drag it out onto the left-hand side. You'll see it gives us this uh, little Venn diagram here. Uh, this gives us a number of options for our join. You can see that when the center of the Venn diagram is colored, then we have an inner join. When the left circle is covered, we have a left join. When the right circle is colored, we have a right join. And when both circles are colored, we have a full join. Uh, this has automatically picked up our join criteria. So we have uh, regional leaders in both columns because region, the field region exists in both uh, data sources. We also have this set up as an inner join. If you were to write this in SQL, you would write inner join the two tables on region equals region. Now, if we wanted to join a second table, we could join our product leaders here. We'll just drag that and drop that. Uh, but you'll see that we have a red exclamation point because we don't have matching field names in these two. So we need to select the field names uh, from this little list it gives us. So we'll go ahead and select product from the left data source. And then if we look at this one, you'll see we have product name. So because that field is slightly different, we have to specify the join criteria. Once we've done that, it uh, gives us the little inner join sign here. So again, this would be the SQL equivalent of inner join product on a dot product equals b dot product name or something like that. So with uh, those two tables joined up, we now have a pretty comprehensive data source, right? So we have all of our sales, we have our regional leaders joined, uh, and we have our product leaders joined. So we can sum these up by uh, different people, no matter what the, uh, what the region is and everything like that. If we wanted to add the uh, the cost, we can also drag the unit cost over here. Again, um, this is going to give us joining by product name. That's exactly what we want. We can also set this just so it joins off that main sales table. We can set that by product. Then it's going to go ahead and join by product name. Uh, I like to set up my joins so that they're all set up like this. When you, uh, when you do these joins, the one thing that you have to bear in mind is that both of these fields have to be the same type, so you can't join a numeric uh, a numeric column to a, a string column, um, even if they have the same information in them. You have to make sure you convert them. To convert them, actually, you can go down here and you can actually change the type um, of each column. There's a whole bunch of information that you can use uh, down here. You can also set this to a list. Sometimes I don't want to see the data. Sometimes you want to see a list. That makes it a little bit easier to go ahead and change this icon. Uh, so we could change this to, from a string to be a number, um, to be true or false. And sometimes that's a good way to, uh, to join things. Sometimes you need to manipulate those in order to get the joins correct. So once we go to the worksheet here, you'll see that uh, Tableau organizes our fields nicely. So we have all of our dimensions up here. We have them organized by data table. So we have product leaders, regionals, um, September plus, which is our sales table, and then the items from the unit cost table. 
um, all combined into one uh, data source. You'll see uh, when you look at the blended data sources video that we have a similar setup, but we have all of the data sources under different tables um, up at the top under data. That about wraps it up for this episode of Tableau in two minutes. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. There is a link to the workbook and to the data source in the video description. And if you like what you hear and you'd like more Tableau tips and tricks, then please subscribe to our channel for new videos. We'll see you next time.